It appears that some of you are still a little confused on finding the correct answers on the VOR questions for both the private and instrument knowledge tests. So here's another video tackling a private pilot and an instrument pilot question using our systems. Keep in mind that in the full version of our software, these concepts are explained in much greater detail. These are just small videos that are meant to explain and promote the tricks we use in our software to help you ace the FAA knowledge test. Now, let's take a look at these questions and at how we make your life easy answering them. Let's start with a private pilot question. This one here says, refer to figure 21, area 3, and figure 29. The VOR is tuned to Elizabeth City VOR, and the aircraft is positioned over Showboro. Which VOR indication is correct? And the answers are figure 2, figure 5, or figure 9. Using our systems as you can explore by watching our radio navigation video, we know that the VOR gives us one or two cardinal directions to fly to to reach the station. One is given by the flag, and the other by the needle. In this case, the needle is centered for all three instruments, so all we need to do is take a look at the flag, which is going to point directly to the heading to the station. If we look at the map, figure 21 area 3, the first thing we need to do is find the Elizabeth City VOR, followed by the city of Showboro. Next, we'll draw a line between the VOR and our city. As we can see, if we were flying from the VOR to Showboro, we would need a heading of 030. Since we are over Showboro, we need to fly the reciprocal, 210, to get to the station. All we need to do now is find a VOR flag that points to 210, since again, the needle is centered. If we look at figure 5, we can clearly see that the flag points directly to 030, which would eventually get us to the station, but you probably do not have enough fuel to circumnavigate the globe, and might lose reception from the station while doing so, if you know what I mean. The same is for figure 9, where again, following the flag, we find 030 as a heading to the station. Finally, if we look at figure 2, we can see that the flag points to 210, south-southwest, and that is exactly the heading we need to fly to the VOR. Now, as promised, let's pass to an instrument question. This question says, refer to figure 98 and 99. To which aircraft position does HSI representation C correspond to? And the possible answers are airplane 6, airplane 7, or airplane 12. Again, all you need to do is follow the triangle, the to from flag, to the cardinal direction it points to. And in this case, as you can see, it points north. Next, we follow the needle to the side and notice that it points to west. This means that to get to the station, we need to fly northwest. If we fly northwest on airplane 6, we would fly away from the station. And the same goes for airplane number 7. If, finally, airplane 12 flies northwest, it will definitely get to the station. And airplane 12 is the correct answer. If you think this video can help you with your test, imagine what 13 hours of interactive training can do for you. Visit PassFAExams.com and find out. See you there, and until next time, happy flying and blue skies from Pilot Training Solutions.